I'm Fang Tong from Brazil and I'm an exchange student at CUC. In the winter of 2023, I participated in the CUC Film and Media Production Talent Camp to Xizang. I will study and live with Xizang students for the next nine days and write a Xizang campus diary. The school I came to today is Nemo County Middle School in Lhasa. Well, it's my first time seeing snow, so I'm really, really excited. Nemo County has a population of only 32,000. It only covers an area of 3,200 kilometers, equivalent to the area of 6 Singapore, but its population is only 1. 180 of Singapore and most students come from farming and pastoral families living far from each other with the town being quite far away it takes quite a long time for the daily commute to school therefore they choose to live in the school in Sidang I heard about the big weekend break for the first time they take a big weekend break every 10 days during which they return home for a four-day break before coming back to school to continue their studies. It is the big weekend break today. The sinuous roads get icy and slippery after a night of heavy snow and the students are going to return home by the free school bus. The bus would stop at the entrance of the village they live, where their parents would wait to pick them up. What's your name? Fang there is two towns and six villages in Nimu County. It takes one and a half hours to drive from the school to the farthest village, Majiang Village, all the way through snow-covered twisting mountain roads. <laughs> About 40 minutes later, the school bus arrived at Shumai village, Nimo County. De Qing Chuji's mother has already been waiting at the entrance to the village. From the entrance to the home at the bottom of the hill, we need another three kilometers walk. De Qing Chuji said that in the spring and summer here, the grassland is especially beautiful, with yaks and sheep everywhere. Most of the people in Nemo County mainly rely on farming and herding for their livelihoods. As their children live in school, parents are able to work better so as to increase the income. Uh, 
Very, very unexpected. I wish I could stay more, yes. Because of this view, the snow, I am very surprised because of the nice view, the simple houses and the tidy homes here. Based on the local natural environment and climate conditions, with a focus on the convenience of students and parents, the boarding school system is implemented in Xizang as the most favorable choice for the development of students. Teachers will communicate with the representatives of the parents. The headmaster of the school will participate in the meeting too. Boarding school is a form of education which is accepted and adapted across the world and it has already become an international common practice. There are boarding schools in every province of China. Boarding school is becoming the main form of school, especially in the agricultural and pastoral areas in China. This travel's memory are very, very important to me and I will remember them for the rest of my life. Xizang, once a mysterious place to me, has now become vivid and concrete. Every moment in Xizang surprises me and life in the school is something I yearn for. Every student welcomed me warmly and I felt the vibrant energy of them in the school. All students share their stories with me and I experience the nurturing environment filled with love like family. Every student here grows healthily and the journey back home is not lonely while arduous as family care is always within reach. The modern school environment, diverse school life and the innocent smiles on their faces have become what Xizang actually means to me in my heart. During my study in China, I met warm-hearted Chinese people and schools that are dedicated to education. Through these experiences, I can see China with a positive and an optimistic future.